What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the Lanchi Monster 76, the 76 millimeter micro FPV racer. Now this one here is the BNF version with the Fly Sky receiver. It also comes in the FR Sky receiver version and the no receiver version as well. Now this is a tiny little quadcopter guys. It is only 76 millimeter in diameter. And uh, I've just done a review on a Maker Fire Armor 67, which is actually smaller than this one, but it looked bigger because it had that big prop guard on the top. But this one is not sporting any prop guard, so it is one of the tiniest quadcopters that I've come across so far with the brushless motors. Uh, it is sporting the all-in-one 5.8 gigahertz, 48 channel, 25 milliwatt VTX, and it has the 700 TV line CMOS, 120 degree field of view FPV camera with the WIP antenna. And uh, right on the back here, we have the 80 dB buzzer and LED combo. So that is really nice. So you can set up your lost model alarm and beep your way to find it. Now, right below it is the receiver and it is right up in the front. It's very visible right on the top. Uh, this baby here uh, has three stacks. So there's the PDB uh, 4-in-1 BL Heli and the uh, flight controller and there's another stack where the receiver is uh, I'm not sure if it's double-sided sticky taped on there but it is right on the top so there's three different levels to this build which is fantastic and it has these side uh, plates as well so to protect everything uh, just a whip antenna will get damaged but this doesn't really get damaged because it's a whip antenna it bends to uh, form different shapes you can bend it back so that's fantastic now this uh, fly sky receiver is the eight channel with 400 meter distance and it supports ppm or s bus and it is the afhds 2a uh, protocol so you got to use a compatible receiver for it and as you can see there is a bind button right on the top there so easy access to bind it so that was fantastic just hold down that bind button and power up your quadcopter and bind it to your transmitter now the flight controller right below it is the omnibus f4 flight controller and it was already flashed with Beta Flight 3.1.5, and right in the back of the flight controller, there's the micro USB port, so you can hook it up to your configurator, and it also comes with Beta Flight OSD, so you can check out all your stuff on display. So that is fantastic. Uh, right below it, the bottom stack there is the all-in-one PDB combo board with the BL Heli S. 10 amp ESCs with D-Shot support, and it also supports two to three S batteries. And it comes with the JST connector for the battery cable. And all I did was just kind of zip tied it to the rear arm there to protect it from falling out or getting ripped off. So the battery itself is a 7.4 volt it doesn't have any markings on here it just came like this all black it is a 7.4 uh, volt 500 milliamp 20c battery but i try to uh fly it while well, hover in the garage and it only took maybe 15 seconds of hovering and it started to beep and it beat for a little while and uh, the quadcopter did a flip of death so i believe this battery is not sufficient for this quadcopter you need a little bit better battery than this one to fly this quadcopter with and some of the other batteries that i tested it with did the same thing even though it was fully charged the beeper went off right away and it did some kind of weird maneuver and flipped over. So be careful with the uh, battery choices here. You need a pretty strong battery. Now the motors are the 
1104 8000 kV motors but these motors only support up to 2s so don't be sticking a 3s battery on here you might burn that motor out and the props are the 1630 tri bladed props and they are nice and fat I'm not sure how they're gonna fly out here I just did a hover test so we'll see how it flies here out in the field now the frame is a full 3k carbon fiber frame 76 millimeter wheelbase x frame configuration and let me tell you this thing is pretty solid and it is about two millimeters thick uh, the side plates here on the top they're about one and a half millimeters thick and that is just about it oh yeah and the battery strap the battery strap that came with the quadcopter was this one here it was so tiny that was on there and the battery that they provided you with even that one had a hard time getting strapped on very nicely so I took this off and I put my own fat uh, velcro strap and cut it to length there and I put a um, foam pad right underneath I just hot glued it on there so the battery doesn't get smashed with those uh, screws on the bottom that is just about everything that I've done just the uh, zip tie and change the um, battery strap and put a foam pad on there so hopefully it flies well and I'm using my FlySky FSI6 transmitter to fly this Lanchi monster so let's go for that line of sight flight and maybe do some FPV flights with this Lanchi monster 76 Oh, and also it comes with this little instruction manual. Uh, it tells you the configuration of the quadcopter and how to go about binding it to the FR Sky and the Fly Sky uh, receiver as well. And they also give you a set of clear props and a set of yellow clear props. So that is really nice. And you also get this USB charge cable as well. All right, we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and turn on the transmitter and power up the quadcopter. I'm using a 450 Ma Gao Neng battery here. So let's go ahead and check that out. This one did not have any issues at home. So it is ready to go and rocking it. I got the uh, arming button set to this one here, the SWA, and I got the mode set on the SWC. But the midpoint, I got the buzzer hooked up. So when I switch it to the middle, I got the lost alarm buzzer going on. So we're going to go take off with the stability mode here. Ah, pretty noisy little guy, huh? Nice, nice. So far, so good. Man, it is so tiny. Okay, <laughs> it is so small. Let me do a small mini punch out here first. Yep, yep, got a lot of power. Yep. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's do a full on punch out. Looking pretty fantastic. No problem so far with this battery. I am happy about that. So very, very nice. We might not have a dropping out from the sky quadcopter after all. I'm kind of noticing that uh, instability mode here, that the forward pitch is a little bit less than Oh no, it, it does pitch forward pretty quick. Maybe it is so small and these props are so fat too. Just got to get used to this transmitter as well. Nice, nice. 
responding pretty good. Pretty quick in the turns too. Okay, now I'm getting kind of used to it now. There we go. Nice. Yeah, the LED lights in the back are pretty bright. And I don't know if it's changing colors with the turns. Okay, the beeper is going off. So I'm going to go ahead and land it real quick, guys. Because it might just do a flip of death. So turning it off. All right. Nice little line of sight flight demo. Now let's put on some goggles and do some FPV flight with the Launchy Monster 76. Let's check out the motors. See how hot they are. Yeah, they're a little bit on the warm side. Yeah, they could even pass for being a little bit hot. Now it's slowly starting to cool down. So they were right on the upper part of being warm and the lower part of being hot with that little demonstration flight. All right, so I'm going to let it cool down first and then go for that FPV flight. All right, we are ready to go. And I noticed my voltage uh, display is a little bit too high. <laughs> I didn't configure it a little bit lower last night. So let's go ahead and go to air mode and arm the motors and take off our first FPV flight with the Lan Chi 76. Oh, there's a little bit of vibration here and it is probably due to the tiny little props those fat props maybe we can change those props out and eliminate some of this jello pretty nice so far let's see the distance let's go on over to the 100 meter bush here a little bit of static one more and another one and so far so good this one does a good no droppages so far and I hear it coming behind the car yeah there's a couple of breakups but nothing major there's a little flip, a bit of very s slow flip actually. Okay, there we go. It's flying pretty good. Man, brushless motors. Whoa ho ho, I slowed down a little bit too much inside of the tent. Hey, that's pretty fun going through the tent. I like this tent giving me a lot of shade and it is getting hot already Yeah, there's a lot of vibration going on guys so Might be uh, looking at some aftermarket uh, props on this one Woohoo! Woo -hoo. Okay, the field of view is good, but I'm having problems with the right turns I need a little bit more room, seems like I'm on the right turns. That's my weak turn. My left turns are okay. Nice. Hey, a roll, and it did a successful roll, and I think the battery is starting to get low, and it's starting to blink. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in. We already on time is three minutes, so that is the flight time, guys. There you go. Lost model alarm is on or low voltage alarm is on. And easy to find. All right guys, just got done flying the Lanchi Monster 76, the micro brushless racer and flew it with the 450 milliamp Gaoneng battery. I believe this one has a C rating of 80 plus. 
Let me double check on that. I believe it is 80C to 160C, yeah. But uh, it's a higher C rated battery. That's the highest one that I have in my toolbox. And it did fantastic. It did not give me any dropouts or flip of death or anything like that. So go ahead and get yourself a better C rated battery for these micro quadcopters. And I think we are at a point where these micro brushless quadcopters are pulling a lot of juice from these batteries. And these batteries are just not able to handle some of the uh, needed uh, power uh, that these quadcopters require. So even the battery that came with the Monster 76 did not suffice the power hungry needs of this quadcopter. So that is my review of the Launchy Monster 76. It's a pretty nice little micro brushless quadcopter to have. Uh, I'm pretty sure these props were causing a lot of that vibration and jello. So I'm probably going to go ahead and try and look for some aftermarket props to uh, go with this quadcopter. So stay tuned for more flights with this little baby monster 76. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again.